Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn how you can group and organize your items in Zoho inventory. Let's say you have a garments business and you wish to group the t-shirts based on their attributes such as size and color. Using item groups, you can classify them accordingly. In this video, we will learn how to create item groups, add individual items to group, and other actions involved with item groups. Let's get started. First, let's see how to create item groups. Log into your Zoho Inventory organization. Go to Inventory on the left sidebar and select Item Groups. Then, click New Item Group. Here, choose whether it's a good or a service. Enter the name of the item group. You can give a brief description if you wish. Mark this box if the items in this group are eligible for sales return. Then, select a unit of measurement from the drop-down menu. You can choose the manufacturer, item brand and category if you wish. Next, choose whether these items are taxable or non-taxable. Now, let's create an item group. Mark the box, create attributes and options. Now, enter an attribute and provide relevant options for the given attribute, each separated by a comma. So, Let's enter the attributes and give the options available. Next, choose the item type, whether inventory or non-inventory. Based on the attributes and options given above, Zoho Inventory has listed all the possible combinations. Now, fill in the item details. Enter the SKU of the item. If you do not have an SKU but you wish to generate it now, you can click the Generate SKU button and do so. Enter the cost price and selling price of this item. If the value remains the same for all items, click Copy to All. If you have the product codes, you can fill in the same. Then, you can click Configure Accounts and choose the account to track your sales, purchases, and inventory. Then click Save and Next. On this page, we will enter the stock on hand or the opening stock for each item. If you have enabled multi warehouse, you can select the warehouse as well. Next, we'll enter the stock available on hand under the opening stock field and the rate per unit of the item under the opening stock value field. Then, click Save. That's it. You have successfully created an item group. All these will be listed as individual items as well. Next, let's see how to add an individual item to an item group. Go to the Items module on the left sidebar. Click the drop-down next to Bulk Actions and choose Ungrouped Filter. Now, select the items and click Add to Group. A dialog box for grouping items would appear. You can mark the box, add them to an existing item group and click save. Now, the item has been successfully added to the existing item group. In this section, let's see the other actions involved in an item group. You can filter the item groups based on their status. You can click this button for the toggle list view of the items in the item group. Next, click the three dotted icon. From here, you can import and export the list of all the item groups. That's it for now folks. We hope you've got a good understanding of how to organize your items into item groups in Zoho Inventory. If you have any queries, you can write to support at the rate zohoinventory.com and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.